Hello and a very warm welcome to the highlights of the first one day international between Pakistan and South Africa in a series of five in Sharjah. It suffice to say that Sharjah has been the stronghold of Pakistan and that hope that they can start on a winning note in this five match series. And looking at the pitch, it is a typical Sharjah track which promises to be on the slower side as the match wears on, but it would be conducive for batting, of course. And for the toss, South Africa's captain A.B. de Villiers won it and he, has no, he had no hesitation in electing to bat first. On to the teams and Pakistan look very strong with Ahmed Shahzad and Nasir Jamshed at the top. Mohammad Afiz making a return to the side and they have another all-rounder in Shahid Afridi as well. They're all three seamers are left arm bowlers. On to South Africa, Colin Ingram, Graham Smith at the top for them and JP Dumini, A.B. De Villiers to follow his lone spinner Imran Tahir in a pace-heavy attack there. Time to join action then, your opening voices in the commentary box is Mike Hazeman alongside Vakar Yunus. Here we go, ready for the first game at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Now what a series this promises to be. Almost every time these two teams have got together in a bilateral, it's been an amazing situation where it's been two all going to the fifth and final. And Pakistan will be very keen to strike in this first one in front of uh, a home crowd. It should be quite good, actually, a little bit later. Expecting to get, uh, I guess, around about uh, 12,000 people into Sharjah to watch this game. And we should have a treat for those spectators and, of course, you also, the viewers. So here we go. Just the news. South Africa won the toss. Elected to bat. Pakistan would have done the same. Mohamed Afan has been a threat for South Africa since he uh, grabbed the red ball and the white ball. And they have quality seamers, and they've also got some quality spin to Pakistan. So they're a very good side. South Africa want to get back to where they used to be in the one-day game. But this is the first of five, and what a series it's going to be. Good afternoon, Maka Yunus. Good afternoon, Mike, and uh, good afternoon, all the viewers, uh, wherever you are. One thing very pleasing is that we're going to be playing five ODIs. It's not four ODIs. We will definitely have a result. Oh, a bit of movement there. Has he got a tickle? He has. There it is. He's struck again, the big fella. The X Factor for Pakistan has done the business first up. He did this regularly in South Africa. And again, there's an extremely high five from uh, Saeed Ajmal. Good stuff from Pakistan. What a delivery. This is not the first time I'm seeing this beautiful delivery. Left him a little bit. And an easy grab there for the wicketkeeper, keeper Umar Akmal. And the big fellow is all get up. What an excellent delivery. Pakistan struck, struck early. Colin Ingram gone without scoring is none for one. Good shot. Nicely played. It's not the biggest boundaries here in Sharjah. And that's gone for four. So that's a nice way to sign off that over. Ten for one. Nice and fine. There's four runs. That's what they need. Just a couple of boundaries just to boost this uh, total at the moment. It's always good to fetch a boundary early in the over. And uh, Smith was uh, moved into his, onto his off stone, but just outside the off stone to fiddle with the length of uh, Suhail Tanvir and flicked it quite nicely. Look at that. It was from the stumps, but he loves that shot. I think he realised also that Mohamed Afam is a little bit too square. Top edge. It's gone fine. It's gone for four. So another bounce of the first ball, the over. Well, he was not in control at all, but he'll take it. JP Dumini struggled against uh, the big fella, the left arm fast bowler, Mohamed Irfan, but uh, managed to get uh, a bit of edge, a thick edge onto it and race away to the boundary, final leg boundary for four. He's still not comfortable, JP Dumini. He's down to the leg side. Afridi chasing. Coming back for the second, so good running, good dive from Smith in the end. They have broken the stumps. I don't think it's going to go upstairs. Richard Illingworth, in fact, Richard Illingworth has said Let's go upstairs and uh, just make sure. But I think Smith is home. Pakistan are not celebrating in the middle, so they also 
I think are expecting it to be okay. Nowadays, umpires are uh, extra careful. They don't want to take any chance. Uh, it was a very fine throw. Umar Amin was there to take that, uh, but the batsman was well in. That will give the opportunity to the fielders and the batsmen to have a bit of water, a bit of drink. As expected. That's a nice shot. Now this is a short boundary. This might go. It does. That raced away pretty quickly. Although the the outfield is not the quickest, it's definitely a smaller field. But it's not the quickest. But that one was uh, nicely played, nicely hit, hit the bottom of the bat, but it just went for the boundary quite nicely. Thirdman had no chance to cut that one. Short and out, pulling it straight to square leg. Soft dismissal, it wasn't the greatest of balls, but it's brought the wicket. Umar Amin there, very straightforward chance, and JP Dumini goes. A oh, bit unlucky short, we wanted to pull that, but I don't think he timed it at all. He got it a bit high on the back, and that's a great wicket for Sohail Tanweer. Dupini was looking to dominate and he was doing quite well. He'd weathered the storm, but unluckily there got out. JT, JP Dumini out for 20, 38 for 2. Ah! Beaten outside the off stamp, Uma Akmal. He's got rid of Glenn Smith, a really sharp bit of stumping. And they didn't have to wait too much longer to get rid of Graham Smith there. Satisfaction for Pakistan, and Smith is on his way. No. Just seemed to lose his bearings there, Graham Smith. Dragged forward, shows a browser, an easy decision. Smith out for 20, it's 48 for 3. Great shot. Strongly driven straight past the bowler. Full face of the bat. Very good timing. Second boundary for Faf Duplessis. A little bit straighter, Mohamed Irfan, on that occasion, and uh, full advantage taken. Midon was uh, in the circle. Midoff is up. So there's uh, enough room if you can punch it down the pitch. And that's exactly what it did. Might be out. That is very, very close, and it's given. What a wicket! Totally misread by the batsman looking to play on the onside. It was a straighter delivery and was going to go and hit the stumps. They're having a little chat out there, the two South African batsmen. Not really sure if they are going up. Well, they are going up now. Well, early indication was that it looked good because he was on the back foot, trying to play it too square on the leg side. So let's have a look at the front foot. No problem there whatsoever. You can see the leg stump, so I'm not really convinced that that ball is going to miss the leg stump. It's going to hit the leg stump. In my book, this will give us uh, the clear picture. Pistol line. Hit in line and that's hitting and a good part of leg stump. The Faf duplicy has got to go. Not a good referral. That look out from the word go. So the umpire is quite correct. Faf duplicy trapped on the back foot, tried to play two square of the wicket on the leg side. He's gone. South Africa now the innings, I wouldn't say in tatters, but in all sorts of trouble. So Faf Duplessis poor run in one day internationals continues out for 12. South Africa now 54 for four. Chipped it back and out. Good catch, second grab. That is a massive wicket. A.B. de Villiers has gone now. Pakistan are all over South Africa. 
South Africa didn't get off to a good start. Their scoring rate has not been good, and they're losing wicket to the wrong time. Good catch. So it doesn't know, three for seven. It's a two again, and maybe just tipped it back. Oh, good grab, Said. Yeah, I think he liked that one. Gee, he's made an impact in this game. We knew the spinners would play a role. That is a huge wicket. AB goes for just four. Almost half an hour of batting. 63 for five. That's a good shot. Gee, that's a good shot. David Miller is someone who has uh, come to the fore of late, and he's someone who is starting to belong in the lineup, which is so important. That's a top class shot. On the up, stood tall and just punched it through. Uh, I've heard it be he's a rugby player, that's why it's so strong. Uh, forward press again, but lovely balance. Boy, that sped to the boundary. Eight from this over. Might have missed out there. Still might be able to scamper through for two. No, they correctly decide on just the one. So nine off that. 77 for five. Could be out. Taken. What a catch. Right arm leg spinner coming around the wicket. Just the right area to ball. Make him drive. And nicely taken to, once again by Chaida Freedy. McLaren goes looking for the big drive. Put it off the thickish inside part of the bat. And a Freedy, two hands down at ankle level. His characteristic celebration. And a sixth wicket for Pakistan. McLaren goes for eight. And South Africa deeper and deeper in the mire. 86 for six. It's a powerful sweep shot. Just going to check whether that's gone all the way. It has. Jose Braza raising his hands. First six of the innings. I have seen him doing uh, this sort of uh, damage earlier. This was clubbed very nicely. This one went flat and that one went far. Club powerfully down the ground. Super shot from Parnell. He means business. A rare loose delivery from the Pakistanis. Little full, little straighter at Parnell, and he, he did club that one, didn't he? Giving it everything behind it. That's four. It was a short ball, a bad ball by a Freedy. And thumped through the covers by Parnell. I think the South Africans are pretty happy if Shahid Afridi keeps up bowling on, on that line, which is outside the off stump. This is a third delivery, which is gone for a boundary, which is wide and room was there for the South Africans, and uh, they pondered on it. Plenty to ponder for A.B. de Villiers. And Shahid Afridi comes back into the attack and straight away takes a wicket. He's changed from round the wicket to over the wicket. And a second court and bowl for him. And the big fish, David Miller, goes. Miller looking to work the ball on the onside, just checking his shot. And Afridi, two hands, the characteristic celebration once more. And that's big, big trouble for South Africa. Miller goes for 37. It's 125 for seven. Nice shot. Might better pick up a boundary here. No, Wadrias. Oh, a little bit of an error. That has gone for four in the end. So good stuff from Mornay Morkel with a bit of assist. Bonus runs there for South Africa. They need them. It was a good lead. Well played by Mornay Morkel. Spin hasn't always been his forte with the bat, but that is dreadful fielding. Gold only six. He's been good with the ball, but should have done better than that, providing support. Oh! 
That's a big shout. Up goes the finger. They've lost another one. Gee, this is disappointing for South Africa. It really is indeed. Afred, he's got his teeth into this game. He's now picked up his third. On their feet in the stands. Well, Mourne Morkel doesn't play the spin as well. Tonight proved no exception. A full delivery. Try to sweep it. Play too late. Hit him on the back foot straight in front of middle stump. They don't get plumber than that. So easy decision there for the umpire. Mourne Morkel's promotion in the batting order doesn't work. He's gone for four. 129 for eight. Is Wayne Parnell scoops that away. That's a fine stroke. Nicely played. That's an excellent shot. Premeditated, but well executed. Spotted with a gap. Pulled out that switch hit. Beautifully struck. We all know Wayne Parnell is a very talented cricketer. He's going to have a serious job to do with the ball. Bit of a wry smile there from Saad Ajmal. Down the track, good shot, nice and straight, beautifully played, not a long boundary, four runs. Beautiful use of the feed by Wayne Parnell. Excellent placement, good timing as well, didn't try and overhit that ball, lent into it quite beautifully. Got all his weight through the shot. It's very well executed. Ryers have catch it this time, it's straight again. We'll have Ryers this time. Stops it. End result is just one. But he's doing the right thing, Wayne Parnell, and that is he's trying to hit Shahid Afridi very straight. So that's a far better option than the one that Mourno Morkel chose earlier when he tried to play across the line and sweep. So he's giving himself a chance. That's six. Wonderful clean strike. That's gone a long way back. And it brings up the 150. Soon as a freely ball, there was a cry of agony as he dropped short, and Parnell just clubbed that, hoisted it into the crowd. Superb shot. 43 to Wayne Parnell now. Sotsobe trying to go down the ground and gets four. Wahab Riaz completely misjudged that. The awful mess on the edge of the circle. And Sotsobe gets his first boundary. Sotsobe coming down the track and hitting it through mid off. That's quite a shot. And oh, Wahab again. <laughs> Not very pretty. He's done that twice now. And I think that's eight runs on his name already. He went down far too early there. Who's to say in the final analysis those extra runs might be crucial? At the moment it looks as though South Africa is struggling, but a couple of early wickets can change that when they bowl. And that's a super shot. Sotsobe using his feet, hitting over wide long on for six. That's one of the shots of the day. Go Sotsobe. Look at that, he's come down the track and he's hoisted it down. <laughs> well, I think he was just batting himself in for this past few hours just, and now he's kicking off. What a shot. We go through for the quick single and that will be 50 to Wayne Parnell. A maiden 50 in one day international cricket out of a total of 174 for eight. High in the air from Parnell. Long arms getting round and takes the catch. Ahmed Shazad. 150 wickets in one day international cricket for Syed Ajmal. And after a really brave fighting and high quality innings from Wayne Parnell, he's dismissed.
comfortable catch for Ahmed Shazad. Said Ajmal's best bowling figures in one day international cricket against South Africa. And Parnell's fine innings comes to an end. He's out for 56. It's 181 for nine. That's gone a long, long way in the air, out towards deep mid-wicket. And Wahab Riaz takes the catch, so it's all over for South Africa. They've been bowled out with one ball remaining in the innings. And Sahail Tanvir takes the final wicket. Again, a slow one in run, trying to slog it out of the park. And he steadies himself and takes... Takes a very comfortable hard set himself, takes it very comfortable. Imran Tahir then out for one, South Africa all out for 183. So high fives, low fives, pats on the back all round for Pakistan. For a job well done. They've done half the job anyway. I think if he had offered them. 183 for South Africa at the start of play that have taken that basset. Yes, very much so. A great bowling performance, especially the spinners. Said Ajmal, Shai the Freedy, restricting them to 180. They really fancy their chances today. South Africa lost wickets early, and after that, at 129 for eight, they were rescued by Wayne Parnell and Sotsobe's partnership. That was in excess of 50 runs, and they ended at 183. On to Pakistan's bowling, and Saeed Ajmal was impressive. In fact, he was the pick of the bowlers with 4 for 30, his best ever figures against South Africa, and followed by Shahid Afridi, 3 for 37. And that's what Pakistan need then, 184 runs in the required overs and uh, to win the match and go 1-0 up in the five-match series. Time for a very short break on the highlights. When we return, we'll see Pakistan's chase. In the air, cries of catch, and it's someone underneath and he's going to take it. Tim Rantar here, he's not going to get close to that. He's not going to double back. Correction, he does. The result is uh, just a couple. Never really in the hunt there, in Mantar here. The bounce did him. It was uh, hit him high on the bat, and uh, that ball stayed in the air for a long, long time. To be fair to Imran Tahir, I thought it was a little bit too much for him, a little away from him. It was a good try at the end, saved a couple of runs, didn't allow the ball to hit the boundary. In the air, maybe the village is uh, near it. He doesn't want it. It's been called by David Miller, and he's taken the catch, and that is an important first wicket. That's the advantage of having a tall, fast bowler. Extra bounce, extra carry, couldn't control the shot. He was nowhere near that. The ball reached at him a lot quicker than he was expecting, and an easy catch taken by Faf Duplessis. David Miller, uh, beg your pardon. Nasa Jamshed gone without squaring. Without squaring. 12 deliveries is faced. 4 for 1. Hard into the ground. Nicely played. Back with a square. Four runs. Good shot. Good control. He looks good when he gets going. He was nowhere near a bad ball. On the up, punched it into the ground and made sure that ball goes over the top of that fielder. Beautiful shot. That is excellent shot. I feel better now. This is his first one day against South Africa. That's nice. Full in length. Club down the ground. Wide open spaces over the top of the bowler. And Hafiz gets his first four. That'll make him feel better. It was over pitch, but it was an excellent strike. What was good about that is that Hafiz didn't try and hit that ball too hard. He leant into it, his weight went through the shot, his head stayed in the shot. Shot 
short. It was the googly. Pulled out towards deep mid-wicket and it's gone for four. A bit finer than deep mid-wicket, in fact. Deep back with square leg. And Miller can't stop it. Well, I was just talking about how good South Africa field in this format of the game. This is not something David Miller would want to see again. He had that well covered. Decided for some reason just to go with the one hand. It's an edge. It's a fine edge. It's gone past the slip and it's run away for four. That'll frustrate Wayne Parnell. areas with always going to ground and very fine down the third man and Hamish is will take that and the each run sort of will weigh heavily on A.B. De Villiers, Wayne Parnell and his, his 180 to get so I think wicket is very definitely needed now. So 50 up now for Pakistan this partnership's worth 46 at this stage. Very thick edge I might have done a little bit of a service. That's an edge, and that's gone through the gap between the keeper and the first lap. That'll uh, be a sense of humour failure, I'd imagine, for a couple of South Africans out there. That's gone right between A.B. De Villiers and Graham Smith. Uh, but the last one was frustrating, this Wayne Barnaby pulling his hair out now. Uh, bisected that gap perfectly. That's a good shot. And he's holding his pose beautifully for a couple of uh, shots from the snappers. That's a quality shot, and he's, he's like that as well. Hold still, great balance. Look at that. Lovely. That's one for the photo photographers. shot as well squeeze that away open the blade he's picked up a boundary to sign off the over that's nicely played runs dried up in the first five a boundary off the last 72 for one short ball Avey's under that one they picked up another one I think yes they have he's walked didn't have to stick the finger up, he's walked. So that's an important wicket. Mohamed Hafiz, after doing all that hard work, is now annoyed with himself. He's been dismissed, and that figure picked up their second, and that's deserved by Wayne Parnell. Short one. Eh? Oh, he, just, he was in two minds, I think. Wanted to hook and then wanted to, to duck out of the way. He just struck his glove and ballooned up. So he's very dejected, Mohamed Hafiz. Goes for 28, was there for 71 minutes. Pakistan now 75 for two. Over mid off, only just chase back for Parnell, who does well. It's a bold stroke that from Ahmed Shazad. It's not often Mornay Morkel's hit over mid off. Yeah, it's a little risky against Mornay Morkel because he's tall, he gets that extra bounce. He wanted to go for a six actually, he wanted to go over the top, just clear that man, and uh, once again, the South African field is. Well done, Parnell. They make that 50. Steered away backward and square on the offside. Good fielding by Mornay Morkel there on the boundary. And good running by these two batsmen. They've come back for three. And Shazad in his first one-day international against South Africa. Now 52 not out. Well played. Batted nicely, batted sensibly. 
Pakistan wanted someone to stay out there and uh, play a very similar knock. And he's done a wonderful job. Faced 80 deliveries, five boundaries. When he's chasing 183, Pakistan will take it any day. Good running. Oh, dear me, that's a nasty collision. That is very nasty. Full length dive by Shazad. And it's Faf Duplessis diving in from backward point. This could be problems. Bang. That's not nice. That's ugly. Oh. That is not a very good sight. I hope they're both okay. It's not about the head, it's about the neck. Alama Shazad is bleeding. I think is uh, is the face. I think the grill hit him on his mouth. And uh, he's bleeding from his uh, lips, I guess. I'm more worried about uh, Faf Duplessis. He's holding his wrist as well, Ahmed Shazad. Duplessis is up on his feet. He seems okay, but Ahmed Shazad in real trouble here, holding his left wrist, but there's also blood around the mouth area. What a tragedy this is for him. That's good, getting off strike, get down the non-striker's end, Shazad, just compose yourself for a bit. He's been pigeonholed, hasn't he, as a, a one-day player. He's played one-day internationals 2020s. Do you think he's got the potential to go further and play in the longer form of the game, Waka? Look, he's been around the team and in the team for, for the last few seasons, and, uh, and his record is not the best, but he's definitely got potential. He, he's a fine batsman, he's a stroke maker, he's a positive player, good fielder. Miscued pull from Misbah, he's got away with it, it's dropped between deep square leg and the man inside the circle on the onside in front of uh, the wicket. Very similar to Mohammed Afiz, this time he wanted to play, once again got uh, big on uh, Misbah al -Haq. That's what he needs to do more, more good deliveries. What has been happening with Tahir uh, is that he bowls a couple of really good balls. This was a googly once again. He, then he starts bowling some bad balls. Reverse sweep, will go for four. So Sobe is not going to stop that. That will uh, carry to the boundary. Welcome boundary for Pakistan. That also brings 100. Misbah. So clever with the sweep shot, the orthodox sweep and the reverse sweep. Wow, I spoke too soon. Another short one. This one, Wayne Parnell put more effort into it and that's the breakthrough South Africa won it. It's a bit high and a bit wider, that's why he sort of pulled it straight to Graham Smith. Maybe this wicket to spur South Africa on 107 for three bucks. So a good innings comes to an end. Ahmed Shazad, he played very well for his 58. So Pakistan now 107 for three. Firmly struck over mid wicket, race to the mid wicket boundary, so that's an excellent stroke. I so love taking on the spinners, and he's actually hit that wider of, you know, made, made a point of hitting it into the gap and closing the face. Boundary 
in this over. So that is very useful from a Pakistan perspective. That's quite a poor delivery halfway down the wicket. Misbah full toe. That's what Misbah does. He packs himself and he knows, especially in the spinners, he knows that he can pull out the big shot in. Well, he tried to play that premeditated little paddle sweep for the last ball of the over. Didn't quite work out so well, but a good over for Pakistan, 118 for three. Rise of catch it, it's uh, just a little wide and it's running away for a boundary to end the over, 128 for three. Got him. Wayne Parnell has picked up another one. It's been good stuff from Parnell. He was very good with the bat. He's now picked up his third wicket as well. Mesbar will be bitterly disappointed that he's uh, just chipped that one to backward points. He's got to make his way back to the pavilion. It was a bit wide and uh, Mesbar was being extra careful, wanted to play on the ground, never wanted to play in the air because of the ball going away from him. That went in the air. And an easy catch there by the gully fielder. Esbaul Haq's uh, innings comes to an end. He faced 49 deliveries for his 31. It's 135 for four. That's away fine for four. Well, uh, Parnell has picked up three wickets, but he's been very unlucky. This is the third or the fourth boundary I'm seeing. It going into that uh, area, third man area, off the edge. What I mean is thrown up at it. No control over that shot, but he'll take that boundary. Yeah, could have easily picked up uh, a fourth wicket as well off that catch been taken by a keeper or first slip. Umar Akmal over long on. And all the way for six. Brings up the 150. This man is an absolute excitement machine. When he gets going, Bazit Khan alongside me in the commentary position. What a shot. He's in a hurry. He's connected that phenomenally well. And that's, that's gone a long way. He's just, he's just taking the bowling on. I think he's in a hurry to finish this game off. And that, that probably is the right approach. And with that kind of shot, you can doubt it. That's massive. Hold the pose for the photographers as well. It was upish from Uma Amin, but into the gap between mid off and extra cover, and that will go for four. Nicely struck from Uma Amin, placed it well. And it's always going to be four once it went through the infield. Again, I just got the impression that ball didn't come onto the bat at all and he was through the stroke a little bit earlier than perhaps he would have liked. <laughs> little feather on that one. The finger goes up. South Africa still in there fighting. A fifth wicket for the visiting team, the Proteas. And Sotsobe gets his first. I'm trying to run it down to third man, a disappointing dismissal. 165 for five. got to be worth a shout indeed it has two wickets in two balls Umar Akmal just consulting with Shahid Afridi are they going to review it the review taking place Steve Davis the third umpire no problem there with the no ball, Umarak will premeditating the sweep. 
Hit him on the front pad. That looks worth a shout to me, Bassett. Looks like pad first. It was a slider. So it looks, looks pretty close. Yeah, I think he was betting on having hit it, but obviously it's pad first. Looking for the sweep, changing his mind. Flicking the front pad, and I'm afraid that is bad news for Uma Akmal, and it is bad news for Pakistan. Shows Abraza got the original decision correct, according to Hawkeye. And he confirms that now. So Pakistan have lost their review. Two wickets in two balls. Uma Akmal gone for 18. Pakistan, 165 for six. <laughs> Pulled away into the gap between deep mid wicket and long arm. Afridi's first boundary. The end of the over, 174 for six. <laughs> Little feather, and that's taken as well. A.B. de Villiers, so that means Satsobe is on a hat-trick. Seven down, Pakistan. South Africa still in there fighting. Just a cutter and he's tried to run it down again and caught... So Sahail Tanvir goes for just two. It's 174 for seven. towards deep mid-wicket and the catch is taken David Miller goodness me eight down now Pakistan what's going on here is again it was the, the, the attempted flipper the faster one and he's not got all of that and it's very comfortably taken by Miller now the cat's in the box certainly is Afridi goes out for nine, Pakistan 176 for eight. Oh, that's got to be worth a shout, it has! The finger goes up. Wahab Riaz out for a duck. And now, perhaps you'd say South Africa are favourites. Goodness me. Another wicket for Imran Tahir, that's three for him. Oh, what a turnaround, that's another one, another straighter one, he's gone right back, that's dead, that's dead, and look what's going on, ten minutes ago we were we turned dusted and now again it's his turn on his head now. Wahab Riaz out for a duck, Pakistan 177 for nine. He's knocked him over, South Africa have done it. They've come back from absolutely nowhere to win. They've won by one run, joy all round in that South African dressing room. No one in the stadium can believe this. That's unreal, that's unbelievable. They're checking the no ball. Do we have the last twist? If there is one. No, that's fine. South Africa has won the game. What a game we had, it was unbelievable. Pakistan was cruising this game and what's that last delivery? Hitting the off turn, extraordinary delivery. Nipped away from the bat, took the off stump and look at the dressing room with the South Africans. Over the moon, unreal scenes. Well, he does the business, Mornay Mokal, excellent last delivery. Went straight at the stumps. Joy for A.B. de Villiers. For a large part of this game, they weren't in it. Well done. But they got five wickets for just 12 runs at the end to claim an unlikely victory by one win. The second lowest score South Africa have defended against Pakistan. Pakistan were in the driver's seat at 165 for four, but then lost six wickets for just 17 runs and collapsed to 182 all out.
Well, South Africa's bowling and Wayne Parnell was impressive with 3 for 41 and Tahir giving him company with 3 for 45, Mokul Lokur and Sotsobe chipping in with crucial wickets. And that's the story of the game, South Africa making 183 and Pakistan were looking strong at 165 for 4 but then there was a collapse and South Africa clinching a victory by one run. Wayne Parnell was declared the player of the match for his half century and his crucial wickets as well. So that's all we have on the highlights for the first ODI between Pakistan and South Africa in Sharjah. Until next time, goodbye.